Kay and I'm back with another video. And as you guys know, nursing is my thing, but I do a little bit of everything. I do DIYs, shop with me, nursing videos. So if you like any of those plus more, come on, subscribe, hit that like button. But today I'm going to be redecorating the master bedroom. Here's the before of the room. Of course, I want to add things to these shelves so they won't, don't look so empty. Kind of sprucing that up too. Make this the main wall, change the ceiling fan in here. Yeah. All that good stuff. So we got the bed in. Yes, I want to fix the rug because not how I really wanted it, but the movers put it this way. Yeah, bed in. Good. All right, the fan came in. There's the before. And I've already started, as you can see, so I'll insert those clips on the actual before, what it looked like before I started anything. And then today I'm gonna to be doing this frog taping. Um, this is the best tape in my opinion. If you're painting, it gives the cleanest lines. So I'll be using this. I'm gonna go ahead and tape off everything. And then I might be in different clothes for the painting because I'm actually gonna do that on a different day. I just wanted to get the hard part over because it's a fairly big room and it's gonna take me forever to tape all this stuff okay, Here's off. what we're working with. So I'm gonna have to tape off all of this I'm gonna take these off the wall. Oh, look at me a hubby. Beautiful. Anyway, that was just there temporarily anyway. Take these out, paint all of this, take that off. And here's what I'm saying where it comes with a lot of taping. We have a lot of these built in shelves here. I have to tape all of this off. All right, I got the closet portion taped off here. Some tips I learned along the way. I should have sand the wall down first before I put the tape on, just so the dust and everything wouldn't, you know, cause the tape not to stick as well. So I should have did that first, lesson learned. Use short pieces of tape because the longer you use, the more inaccurate it is and it kind of is not an even line. And then that's how you end up getting like some of the other color paint on the white stuff like that. So work in small sections, make it easier for everybody. <laughs> There you have it. The last step of doing all this tape and stuff that I've been doing is to move this bed here. 
and I couldn't find help in a timely manner. So I'm gonna try to do it myself. We're gonna see how it goes. And fingers crossed I can do this myself. I got some guns, so hopefully a little, just a little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to do this. Let's, let's go while I'm talking. The mattress is most definitely the heaviest part. All right, so now I gotta figure out how to move this frame. Okay, so they put the rug wrong, like the rug pad wrong. So I need to change that while I'm at it. So otherwise I could just pull the bed frame forward and you know, we'd be done. But no, the way my life's set up, I gotta try to move this and the rug. All right, let's see if I can do this. nothing stop me but Jason I do miss you helping me with these projects and I appreciate everything you do because you know we do all the hard work and the struggle is real I'm trying to do this by myself but I got this I'm gonna have a big surprise for you well, I should have marked it because I can't really tell what's the right way This one, out of the green family. I think I'm gonna go with this color, fresh arugula. <laughs> I do like this color, but it's gonna kind of mess up the plan that I have for the room. I think I'm gonna go with this satin finish. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I have my little setup going on here. They actually gave me the more expensive version of the paint because they didn't have the satin. So I actually got a better quality paint for less. And this is one coat coverage guaranteed. We're gonna test that theory out. This is actually a new um, line they came out with Lowe's. So we're gonna try that out. And we're gonna start by painting the edges first. And Let's get into it. And this old dried up paint in here, but it'll be all right, y'all. Yeah, it'll be all right. Let's do this. Paint has already been shaken up for me. So we are good on that part. I asked them to shake it up. So no stirring.
I learned something new today. So here's my cup and paint, right? It's a magnetic on here. That holds the brush. Come through. At first I didn't like the green, but now I think it's growing on me. My hands are a mess. Who are we gonna keep this going? I'm almost done with this back wall. And I have a lot more to go, but oh, eat in there. I'm just trying to get the gist of how it's gonna look against this brown. And honey, that's about to look real good. I'm gonna let it dry for a second and then I'm gonna add one more coat. Cause as you can see, I still have some white spots there. So I'll probably just do one more coat. Then I'll be done with that part. All right, now for the not so fun part. 